Hello everyone, this is Rosie Lentz from Narcissistic Abuse and Recovery. I want to talk tonight on a topic that we haven't really covered, but it seems very important to me. So you've left your narcissist, and let's say you have children with them. What about the kids? How are you going to help your children recuperate, recover, find themselves after being the supply of the narcissistic parent. You've successfully left the narcissistic relationship. And if you have children with these narcissists, these children need help. They will be drawn to and replicate the same choices that you made choosing a narcissistic mate. Narcissists have the need to reproduce, even if they say they don't want children, but if, especially if it's the same gender child. That child is an extension of themselves, and they live through that child. And if that child does not meet the mark, that, that, that child is met with extreme criticism and disregard. And the damage done to children from, an, from a narcissistic parent is terrible. Here are some things you need to do if you have a child with a narcissist who is programming them to go down the same road that you did and have the same, maybe not the same journey of suffering and hardship, but most certainly the same rough journey. Number one, you need to go into family counseling. You and your children need to go into family counseling with someone who understands this dynamic of how narcissism affects and touches family trees. And you want your child to know that they are free of this pattern in their lives. You want them to know that if they have something to share, that they can share it. You want to empower your child to begin to express and to be move into the space of their heart and their emotions and to re, begin to build trust rather than subsiding and subsisting and being sustained by fear and the lower state emotions because the narcissistic parent is going to demand a certain level of perfectionism. In my own case growing up, my parents said, you are a reflection of the status of our family, in essence. And that was a tremendous amount of pressure. Because as soon as, and before the age of nine, a tremendous amount of pressure where we didn't feel, my, uh, the, I, uh, my sibling and I did not necessarily feel like we had permission to make mistakes. I can only speak for myself, though. I did not feel like I, I felt like, like I had to be perfect. I felt like I had, and I was not permitted to talk about anything. They didn't want me seeing a therapist because they didn't want me talking about any of the family secrets, if you will, the elephant in the room. And the elephant over the years got more and more big and heavier. But you have to help your children make sure that they are getting the help they need with an appropriate juvenile therapist, adolescent therapist. You're doing family counseling. You are sp taking time to sit and listen to them. You're not making them conform to what you want them to do or what their, what their narcissistic parent wanted them to once or wanted them to do. You're giving them a space and a voice to be themselves. And depending on, with, on which how they learn, how they grow, whether they're kinesthetic, they are more visual, whatever it is, give them something, something that they can do to find out and identify with who they are rather than being the child of a narcissist because that will eat away and erode, erode their lives. 
We have to give our children a voice. We have to put down our stupid phones and stay away from the television and have FaceTime with our children. We have to begin to hear their voices and their narrative so they can grow up healthy and strong and not be making decisions from a programming point and attracting narcissists into their life, especially if you have an empathic child, they're going to be the supply in your family as well as the supply in any relationships they go into. And we don't want that for our children. So if you need resources for, for a family therapist, for your family, for your kids, please give me a call um, or send me, fill out the contact form on my website. Thank you for watching all the way through. We cannot let our children fall through the cracks. They are so important. Let's pick our children up and show them that they can live a better life where they have love, safety, and a sense of true joy and happiness. Let's give them a safe place to land and a soft place to land. Because that's what home really is, isn't it? Thank you for watching. This is Rosie Lentz. If you like what you see, subscribe, share this out like crazy, please. And know that I love you and I believe in you. You've got this. Go take care of your children. Heal together. Heal as a family. From me to you.